everyone benefits from health messages that use plain words and simple pictures. We work with community members to create health messages that are clear and meaningful to them. The messages always include basic steps people can take to protect their health. This story is one example of our work. My name is Irene Akutakwit. I um, I'm a tribal member of the Robinson Rancheria Banapomo Indians. My mother lives in Clear Lake since 1913 when she was born there. I've lived on the shores of Clear Lake uh, for 22 years. Clear Lake is one of the California lakes that often has harmful algal blooms. Harmful algal blooms produce toxins that can make humans and animals sick. All people who use the water, regardless of culture, education level, and language needs, should be able to understand signs that warn about the blooms. To create signs that all Californians could understand, we asked diverse groups of people to tell us which pictures and words best delivered our health messages. We changed the signs and their pictures many times based on what people said. As part of this project, we asked tribal members at Clear Lake to test the signs with community members, including those who swim, boat, and fish in the lake. Uh, usually the uh, disadvantaged communities are the ones that usually eat the fish because they depend on it as, as a food source. What I've seen from the results were the visual. They really connected with the visual pictures. Um, not so much with the words, but the visual. Testing our signs with community members told us how to improve them. This is a picture we changed. The intended message was, keep children away from algae in the water. At first, community members did not recognize the figure as a child. We then made the figure more like a child, with pigtails and a bucket. The bucket confused some people who wondered what the girl was doing with it. The final version looks like a child, and the bucket is gone. At first, community members thought this picture said, do not drink alcohol near the lake. One person thought this next version looked like a person reading a card because the glass looks flat. Community members recognized this final version to mean, do not drink the water. Signage is very valuable because it's greatly needed for people to make a choice about health impacts when they go into the lake. The project overall was really important in working with the California Public Health Department. That was a surprise to me that they showed up and uh, wanted to be help us or be part of their surveys. Because communities were involved in this process, we feel more confident that the signs speak to a wide audience. The signs are now available online to download and post. To see the signs, visit mywaterquality.ca.gov slash house.